Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'd say today is the first time I've picked up the camera in probably seven or eight days. Just after the TB and everything, I just didn't really feel like it. Plus the weather has been shocking. Surprise, surprise. So um, I just haven't been doing a whole lot apart from coming down, putting in the odd bale, feeding them and giving grass to the ones above and things like that. So I said today um, I would pick up the camera again and show you what I'm doing. So today is my birthday and I have a big job on for it. Well, I don't, uh, only supervising of course. But um, so behind me here you will see I have some rubber mats. So these are for the slats and the toe space in front of the feed barrier there. So we're going to do all three pins. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but these do not come cheap. Um, but thank you to Easy Fix. They looked after us with a good deal. And so we just said we'd bite the bullet, get them done, get them in all three pens. The main reason being we had so many issues with bad hooves last year. Usually it's just special. She just has bad feet. It's just like a genetic thing. She has bad feet. There's nothing you can do about it. But then big black and big red also had hoof problems. They're our busy, busiest, biggest cattle um, here. So we were thinking after the long winter last year, probably the amount of time they spent on the slats plus the amount of weight that they're putting on their hooves on those concrete slats um, was the reason why. So it's something I've been looking to get for probably two years now, but I think just after those hoof issues, I really wanted to get them done. So that's the main reason why we got them. Look, they're also beneficial in terms of just the thrive and the weight gain for the, say, the yearlings and the stores. And look, I suppose it's good timing that we got them now since we're going to be finishing a few animals this year, um, not by choice, but look, if it, if it helps a bit, it's great. So as you can probably see, I've gone for the higher grip ones. So. There was two options, you could get the kind of smooth ones or you could get these ones. But for me, with sucklers, the way they can tend to be a bit flighty, you might have a bulling heifer inside over the winter or whatever. I just felt in terms of their safety, this was the better option for me. Um, it'll probably annoy me because obviously it won't look as clean as the smoother ones. Um, but I just think in terms of their safety and welfare, this was the better one. Um, to get so I'm just waiting on the guys from Easy Fix now to come and put them in because they're going to install them and all for me which is great because sure I'd probably be two weeks trying to put them in so the lads are coming I still have the cows in the bottom pen here I'm just trying to hold them there for as long as I can because I have to keep them in the passage Um that's because the heifer with TB is still um, in the field out here so I obviously can't mix them with her um, so look on that as well I'll do an update video um, hopefully when she's gone I just just with my experience and look I think unfortunately nearly every farm has been touched by TB not only in Ireland and the UK but further afield as well but I'll just give an update just from my own experience I suppose but um yeah, so I'm trying to hold these girls here as long as I can. I was in scraping in between them. They were very uh, patient with me. So I'm going to put them out maybe in 10 minutes there just so I can give it one last scrape so it'll be nice and clean for the guys when they come to put the mats in. But I have the other two slats done anyway over the past few days just to get it ready. So that's what we're going to be doing today i'm absolutely delighted to get them so thanks again to easy fix because and look thanks again to you guys because i couldn't afford these without youtube um myself and dad actually went halves on them because i think he knew how much i wanted them so it's like a birthday present for me today <laughs> um getting mats for the cows but yeah i'm i'm really happy to get them uh so yeah that's it. Um, I'll probably just show you uh, the guys on time lapse doing a bit of work if they don't mind. Um, and I'll show you what they're like afterwards. And obviously I'll give updates and things on how I feel the cattle are taking to them and all of that as well. Um, we also got a manhole cover for the slats outside here. Um, 
Oh, it's so bright today. It's fabulous to have it. Um, so a lot of people will have seen, I think I did a YouTube doing it as well, but I definitely have done TikToks of me taking off the slats here with the 135. But um, obviously it's not uh, the safest thing in the world. So we're after getting a manhole cover. You can see it just down there. I have the lids open. I need to do a bit of chiseling. I opened it and now I can't get it back down. The concrete's just a little bit rough inside. So I'll just do that in a while. But um, it was delivered during the week. Everything's happening at the moment. The yard is in an absolute mess, which I hate because we got the tree here beside the crush uh, taken down as well which was a job we've been wanting to do for a good while. It was dangerous, plus it was just in the way. But now it means we have a big gap there. So at the moment, it's just the Harris fencing and an old gate thrown there. So we'll have to tidy that up. Obviously, the big machine for cutting the trees made a mess of the place. So I'll have to clean that up when the job is finished. Um, and then obviously, we'll have to get someone to put the manhole cover in because I think it weighs 1.3 or 1.4 ton. And... Uh, I wouldn't do that with the loader. Now I wouldn't do it with the loader anyway because I just would not trust myself trying to, to put that in, but we'll need a bigger, we need something like this to put it in. So maybe, maybe that'll put it in for us. But um, yeah, so that'll be going in in the next, hopefully week or so as well. And it'll just tidy up the yard a bit because I just hate seeing it like this. Um, but yeah, look, that's the plan for today. Oh, before I forget, because I have forgotten in the last two videos, if anybody has any straw that they're selling in Kerry, Killarney area, um, would you just let me know? I'd love to buy two bales off you, big square bales if you have them. Uh, but to be honest, if it's round bales, I'll take round bales because I know it's like gold dust this year, so it might be a long shot, but I'm getting stuck now. Um, I probably have enough for one pen and that's it. But I really need about two, two big bales if I can get them. So just if anyone has them, just let me know and I'd love to buy them off you. But um, yeah, so look, I better um, tip away with this. So before the lads get started, I just wanted to show you what it actually is. So why it's easily fixed. It's got these little plugs basically that fit between the gaps and the slats. So it just means the guys will use a sledgehammer then to just fix them into place.
Now that's the job done, in fairness to the two lads, they had it down to a T and um, got it done in no time. So um, I brought the cattle in there, you can see them behind me. I'm actually standing on them now and in fairness, you can feel the difference, you know, um, underfoot. So hopefully now it'll make a difference for the cows as well and all the cattle really. But um, they took fine to it when they came in. I was wondering would they react to the different surface or whatever, but no, they haven't. So um, yeah, they seem to be happy enough with it. I had the silage ready for them when they came in because I felt bad. They were out in the rain. The day has just turned awful. Um, but yeah, heads are down and they're eating and they seem perfectly fine with it anyway. So it'll be interesting to see now um, if it makes a difference in things, if they're lying more and hopefully we won't have the hoof problems that we had this year. Um, but your luck only time will tell. Um, but I do think it is a worthwhile investment. Hopefully now it does the job, but I'm really happy with it. The grip seems good, you know, just comparing it to the bare slat. Um, it definitely feels good. So hopefully it feels good for the cows as well. So, oh God, this barrier is very low. Um, but yeah, um, of course Big Red, the first thing she did was do her business on it when she came in. So they didn't stay clean for long, but no, I think it looks great in fairness. Dad came down as well to have a look and he's delighted with them as well. So all is good, we're all happy. So um, that's it, I'll leave it there. I have to go and look at the yearlings and the weanlings and the weather. Oh, I think that's thunder. No, that's an aeroplane. Never mind. I was like, God, that's awful thunder. Um, yeah, I must go up to them now, so I think I'll stop off and get my waterproofs on the way, but I'll leave this video there. Um, there'll be a few more bits and pieces coming up, but I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's as simple as what you see there, really. That is it. Um, really quick and easy to install. To be fair, I think I even could have uh, fitted them myself, but hard work at the same time, a lot of logging, a lot of work with the sledgehammer. So I'm delighted that the guys came and did it for me. So thanks again to Sean and Killian and everyone at Easy Fix. But um, yeah, I'll leave it there. And uh, if you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.